Meantime, a bank robbery in the loop caught our eye. It happened here at a Chase Bank branch on LaSalle. You can see police on the scene. Here's what made it unusual. The suspect said to be 70 to 75 years old. And get this, he used a cane, not as a weapon, but to help him walk. You might call them the bearded bandit, for instance. Now, we made that nickname up, but as Roseanne Tay has found out in this original report, the FBI uses clever titles to help them catch the crooks. The bully bandit, the hooded bandit, those nicknames, along with a bandit tracker website, are playing an increasingly big role in nabbing bank robbery suspects. How successful has it been? Very successful. It, and it's, it's one-stop shopping for bank robberies. With 122 banks in the Chicago area robbed so far this year, Bandit Tracker is an important tool. I think the front face shot on the website is key. The site posts images from bank security cameras, descriptions and details like tattoos. Earlier this month, a Cicero investigator spotted a familiar face at the site. We're learning more, much more about the accused No Boundaries Bandit. That led to the arrest of Rodrigo Medellin, suspected in a dozen bank robberies and nicknamed the No Boundaries Bandit for striking all over. So when you publish a story, No Boundaries Bandit sticks in your head. Does that actually help catch these bank robbers? You know, it does. Kroon says it's an especially dumb crime. The small amount of money you're going to get from a bank robbery, you're facing up to 20 years in prison. Three of every four suspects are caught, and this is the man Kroon would most like to catch now, accused of robbing the first Midwest bank of Bolingbrook. Where the offender entered the bank without saying a word, fired a shot, struck an employee in the arm. And the reward for that violent offender, $25,000 right now. Special Agent Kroon says the real victims in these crimes are the bank tellers and the customers who often have guns put in their faces and are traumatized by these really violent acts. No Rob, kidding. Kate. All right. Thanks.